Now, another thing that you might want to do is uh, sort and get rid of the ones uh, that are larger files. So I'm going to pick on the word size right there. And then the smaller ones will be up, up top and the, uh, the bigger ones will be at the bottom. Now, the bigger emails are almost always the ones that have attachments. So if you notice, the size is getting bigger and bigger. And then we'll see some, the ones with the paper clips, of course, they have attachments. Let me give you some ideas of how to manage your attachments. So I sent this email to myself earlier today with the multiple, uh, the multiple attachments, although here's one with a single attachment. So when I have the uh, email with the attachment, you can see how that one right now says 202 kilobytes. It's 202, let's say roughly 202,000 characters. It's starting to be pretty big there. And I'm sure what's taking up a lot of the size is the, um, the attachments. So when an email has an attachment, if I just open that, uh, it really opens up in a temporary file. So what I might do is save that to my computer. I'm going to click on this pull down next to the attachment. Uh, by the way, before I get, get to that one, I want to show you something that I have that's called the reading pane. Notice how I can see the email or the contents of the email down here at the bottom. That's called the reading pane. To turn that on, I'll pick on the view menu and I'll pick in the word reading pane right over here. Now, here's what it looks like when it's off. And then I have to double click on that email to, to see the contents. But I'll pick on view and then reading pane. If I put it on the right, you see it over here on the right hand side. Uh, I usually like to have mine at the bottom. So I'll pick on bottom. Good. This way I could just click on that email and then see the contents of the email down here. It's a big time saver. So, okay, now we're back in that email with the attachment. I'm going to click on the pull down with the attachment and I'm going to save the attachment file onto my computer. All right, so we'll say save as and I'll put it onto my uh, desktop folder and I'll pick on save. I can even do that with this one over here. I'm going to click on the pull down, pick on save as and then pick a folder and save it onto my computer. Now, once I've saved it to my computer, then I would um, get rid of the actual attachment and that'll make your inbox a lot smaller. So at this time, I'm going to click on this pull down and I'll pick on remove attachment. Now, look at the number before we do that. It's 202 kilobytes for that email. And uh, I'm going to click on this one and do remove attachment. And I'll say remove attachment there again. Now, uh, it won't reset until I leave that email and then go back to, go back into it. So uh, at this time, I'm going to sort it by the inbox and then sort it by the uh, receive date. And I know that was kind of a newer email. And there it is. Remember before it was uh, over 202 kilobytes. Now it's down to 130 kilobytes because I removed the attachments. So... That's one thing that you can do uh, if you save the attachments to your computer and then you remove the attachments from the email, that'll make the email a lot smaller. Let's try it with this other one that says multiple attachments. Now this one is 635 kilobytes. It's starting to be very large. I want to show you a great new feature. You can now save all the attachments in one step. Notice I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attachment files in this email. So what I'll do is I'll click on the pull down for one of the attachments. And then I'll say save all attachments. And they, you know, they're all uh, selected there, or you can pick them as you need to. And I'm going to save those into my uh, download folder. Now they all got saved onto my computer in one step. And now we're going to delete them in one step as well. So I'm going to click on this attachment. Uh, I'm going to hold down my shift key and pick on this last one. Now they're all selected. Now uh, I'm going to click on this pull down and I'll say remove attachment. It's going to remove them all at the same time, as you can see. Now let's take a look at the size of that email. It went from 635 down to 45 kilobytes. So you can really see that made quite a difference. So those are great ways to manage your attachments. What I would do maybe is sort it by the size and the larger ones are usually the ones with the attachments. 
as you can see, this one has an attachment. It's getting pretty big. Now, the other way you can tell which ones have an attachment is you sort by this little paper clip over there, and then all of the ones with the attachments will be either at the top or at the bottom. And then once you have that attachment, uh, again, I'm going to click on that pull down and I'll say um, save as. Or I could have said save all attachments, right? Like we did. And then that'll put those onto your computer. Once they're on my computer, I can remove them from the email. And then it's going to make that email a lot smaller. So right now you can see how that one says 253 kilobytes. And that was from 920. So now I'm going to sort it by the receive date. And uh, now that we went down to 59 kilobytes because we got rid of the attachment.